Hello friends, I'm Tim Wildsmith, and in this video we're going to be taking a closer look at the KJV43 Long Primer Thin Line from R.L. Allen. Okay, it's time for another KJV Long Primer review from R.L. Allen. If you haven't heard, I'm trying to do a review on all of the different major Long Primer editions. There have been some special editions that I just can't get access to. I, I wasn't around when they were when they were selling those, so I don't have everything, but I'm trying to get the major ones. So this is the 43 Long Primer Thin Line. And in the world of Allen Bible fans, I have seen a lot of folks say that the, the 43 is their favorite. So basically, the idea behind the 43 it just came out for the first time a few years ago, because back in the day, you could only really get the standard long primer, but now you have all of these different options, and that's why I'm doing these videos. So the 43 is a, a slightly thinner version. It's on 28 GSM paper versus the 36 GSM paper of the original 53. It's It doesn't have the full yap or the double guild line, so it's like a slightly smaller version all the way around in terms of thickness and then the overall footprint of the trim size of the entire Bible, but it's absolutely beautiful, and it's literally almost, it's like almost as opaque as the 53, so you get a little bit of an easier on-the-go Bible when it comes to the long primer. It's really beautiful. I have this like gorgeous chocolate brown edition that I got and it is absolutely fantastic. I have done a, an unboxing video of this when it first showed up. So if you want to check that out, I'll put a link in the description to where you can see that. But in this review, I just want to walk you through all the specs. So if you're, you can usually find these on their website or get them gently used from people online. So just so you know the specs and you can determine if this is one that's right for you. So without further ado, this is the 43 Allen KJV Long Primer Thin Line. Okay, quick look at the box. We have the two-piece blue box that all Allen Bibles come in. The Allen 43 BR stands for Brown Highland Goatskin. You notice that it says Long Primer Thin Line. So you have the original Long Primer, which is the 53. You have the Long Primer Sovereign, which is the 63. And then this is the Long Primer Thin Line, which is the 43. There's the Bible itself, this beautiful chocolatey brown Highland Goatskin. Great grain on this one. Looks absolutely fantastic. Single tooled line around the outside versus the 53 has a double tooled line. Semi yap versus the 53 has a full yap. So that's one of the main differences on the outside is that it's just a little bit thinner. So it's it's thinner paper. You're going to see that in a moment. But it's thinner as far as the width and the height goes because the, the yap is not quite as big. The actual pages are the same size, but everything else is a little bit smaller. Over here you have Holy Bible, Concordance, and Allen. Those tooled ribs on there. Some beautiful gold, long gold ribbons to go with that chocolate brown goat skin. Looks great. Feels great. You do get a single gilt line in the inside. There's your Highland goat skin. Edge line construction. It's got a sewn binding. It's got the Allen white head and tail bands. Beautifully constructed. Back here it tells us that it was bound by Charfleet. So Charfleet is a book bindery in England that Allen uses for a lot of their different editions. There's red under gold art gilding on this 43. Looks great. So this Bible was printed by the Royal Youngblood in the Netherlands, but it's bound by Charfleet. As far as size goes, now I measured this, the standard long primer is six inches wide. I measured this at five and seven eighths. So just, just hair thinner. I think they're on their website, they say they're the same, but this copy is just a hair thinner. And then it's eight and seven eighths inches tall, which is the same as the 53. But they use 28 GSM paper instead of 36. So it's only one and three eighths inches thick versus one and three quarters inches thick on the 53 and the 63. So it's significantly thinner. That's why they call it the thin line. Now opening this up, got some blank sheets of paper. On the inside, it's, it's very similar. It's just printed on thinner paper. So you get the presentation page, you get the family records, title page, Holy Bible, authorized King James Version, R.L. Allen and Son. There's the license from the monarchy. Information here, there you see it says that it was printed and bound by Royal Youngblood. The abbreviated preface to the King James translation, table of contents, a note on the references and the symbols used in here, and then you get to the text itself. So two column text, center column cross references. I actually asked this when I was going through the unboxing video of this Bible. I was like, are, this, are, the, are the 
the margins smaller and someone commented and said no they're the same as the 53 well according to the website they're the same but i measured these are three eighths of an inch thick versus a half inch thick on my 53 so that's only an eighth of an inch but it, it does seem a little bit smaller on this guy which is again i noted that the the, the the width of the text block was slightly smaller on this one so i don't know if this is just a one-off that was a little bit smaller or if maybe these are actually a little bit a little bit smaller this way than the 53 but two column text center column cross references it's not a smaller font size type size than the 53 it's still the 10 point long primer font what makes this bible different is that it's not got the full yap so it's smaller there and then it's got thinner paper so it's 28 gsm paper now i'm going to do a full comparison video between this and the 53 and the 63 but just take it from me as i'm telling you this you can see through this paper a little bit more than the 53. So there is, it's, it's not quite as opaque, but it is almost as opaque. This is, I am not distracted by what's coming through on the other side of the page when I read from this Bible. And then the benefit you get is that it's so much thinner. It really is, it feels so much thinner when you're carrying them side by side. This is a much, it's a, it's a less bulky Bible overall. So the trade-off that you're getting for that is less bulk, but a little bit less opacity on the paper. So there's just a little bit more, but again, it's not something that is distracting to me at all as I read this Bible. So I'm just gonna pull this up and let you see it. 10 point font, 28 GSM paper, 3 8 inch margins on the outer margins. Looks like it's more like 3 quarters inch on the bottom there. Looks really, really sharp, easy to read. That's the whole long primer. The, the name long primer is based on this typeface. Just the crisp, easy to read. I've said this in a lot of my videos, but these are scans based on uh, vintage copies of the long primer from the 1950s. Look really great, easy to read. And that's, that's I mean, it's, I hate to say that's all there is to it. It's so simple, it's so clean, it's such a great Bible. But once you get to the New Testament, it's the exact same vibe. It's nothing changes, there's not red letter. It's verse by verse format, center column, cross chain references. I mean, just looks really sharp at the back of the bible you get all the same content so you get the dictionary of proper names you get the subject index and you get the concordance all of that is back here but it's just all on 28 G gsm paper so it's slightly thinner then you get your allen bible maps again this even says 50 series down here because it's the same maps that come in the 53 and the 52 for that matter and then you get the lined writing paper so I could be wrong. I believe that the 43 is, is the, the most recent addition to the long primer family. And it's really cool that Alan is doing this. I mean, I'm sure people said, I wish that the long primer was a little bit more portable. And they did that. They basically uh, made the paper slightly thinner. It's 28 GSM versus 36. And then they did, went to semi-yap instead of a full yap. And, and other than that, it's the same thing on the inside, but it just does feel a little bit, actually I have, let me just show you real quick. I have my 53 right here. So you see, it's just not as big because of the, because of the yap. And then on the side, it's just significantly thinner. You can see that. I mean, it's just the bulk there is here, but here I'll do a little teaser for an upcoming video, which is the 43 verse. Look at that. The 43 versus the 53 versus the 63. We're going to have that coming out soon where we're going to do a side by side comparison of all three of these Bibles. But so far, that's your look at the 43. So there you have it. That's the KJV 43 Long Primer Thin Line. I would love to know what you think about this. I'm trying to determine which long primer is my favorite, and this is this is definitely in the running. I love the thin version of it. I love that it's like slightly smaller, easier on-the-go version of the long primer. So that's definitely a cool feature about this Bible. So let me know in the comments. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think about this. You can definitely check out Bible Review Blog. Dot com. I've got a whole, a lot of different entries in there for the Long Primer series, so you can find that on there. Check out the Find a Bible page at BibleReviewBlog.com, and you can click on R.L. Allen and quickly find the Long Primers, or if you click on the KJV section of the website, you can find the Long Primers that way. You can visit us on Instagram and Facebook. We've got a great community out there on social media. And before you go, hit that like button and hit the subscribe button here on YouTube so you can see all the latest reviews, and definitely check out the channel homepage if you'd like to see what else I have out there. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.